In today's video, we're taking a look at an all-new charger from Toolkit RC. Now, this is called the M6D here, and it is pretty interesting and unique. However, you need to take something in consideration before buying a Toolkit RC. Their QC service or, you know, their department isn't usually very great at times. So, yeah, just keep that in mind when purchasing this. And if you do ever run into any issues, contact them directly before going to Banggood because they'll just ask you for the invoice and then they work it out themselves. Now, Banggood is basically, would, Banggood would just be the middleman, but you could only imagine how many people they'd have to middleman for. So with that being said, let's get started here. So this is a portable charger that takes DC input only. So it'll take anything between seven to 28 volts in here. It does have USB charging and it has two ports that are capable to 15 amps each here, which is good, 250 watts each port. So you'll be able to use this to charge with a parallel charging board for example, through your car's battery, if you're able to stick that in right here. You just create some alligator clip to an XC60 and you're good to go. That's how I do it. Now, the casing here is all plastic, hard plastic. It's not metal. It does have a very strong fan for cooling uh, because it does have discharging functionality. And you can, you can kind of hear that fan. It's 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 powerful fan for the size. That's just crazy. So now let's go ahead and talk about the UI as well as the features that it has. So obviously it charges batteries. You could charge two at a time. And it also has a power supply option. First of all, let's make sense of the UI here. So up top, we get the input battery voltage, which is coming in from that. Here's the amps that are being used from that, watt hours. And here on the right, we get the internal temperature, which is 36.4. Obviously, you get the fan that cools it down if it gets too hot. And here, it'll just display the information for the batteries that would be connected. Now, let's go ahead into the menu here. So for the battery types, we basically have almost, I guess, everything we need. LiPo, lithium high volt, life lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, PB, power, and UAV bat. Now UAV bat is basically the DJI battery. So, so they have these preset up files here, which you can use for your, uh, if you're for some reason go going to be charging a DJI battery. And if we go to power, this is basically a power supply now. This becomes a power supply. It could step up and step down the voltage. You could also limit the current, which is really crazy. It goes up to 15 amps here. And what we have is the voltage goes all the way up to 28. So even if you put a 16 volt battery, it'll still step up to 28 volts here, which is a really nice thing to have. Very useful and it could come in handy quite a lot here. Um, and you could have either both of them be power supply or you can have one charging and one power supply, which is really nice to have here since we'd have two channels here. Now let's go back to the battery to see what kind of settings we have here. Cells, it automatically detects the cells. I highly recommend you keep it there if you're switching between 6 and 4S batteries. Uh, the modes for charging, we have charge, discharge, and storage charge. Now the discharge and storage charge, basically if you needed to discharge anything, it says it goes to 3 amps, but it never goes above 12 watts, which is, um, you know, on a 16 volt battery, roughly 0.8 of an amp. So it, it'll take some time to actually uh, discharge a battery. So yeah, take that into consideration. Discharge mode, we just have internal. We don't have external here. So keep that in mind as well. End voltage here, you could play around with the end voltage. So that's really nice to see. If yours wasn't calibrated correctly, you could always increase this by whatever offset you needed to. And down here, you could change the channel uh, one or two. So you could just click that and change between channel one and two here. Oh, we, we don't have a battery, that's why it's doing that. And we just go back like this. Let's go ahead and just show you how this thing actually works as well. So we just plug in a battery and we plug in the balance connector here. Now we also do have USB charging port, by the way, here. Uh, so let's go ahead and charge. This is a LiPo. And let me show you the discharge, for example. And we're just going to say discharge current. We're going to put it at max 3 amps. And we're going to start. Okay. And as you can tell, there's the amps that are currently being taken from the bottom one. And like I told you, 12 watts, roughly 0.8 of an amp. And yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, let's go ahead and stop this. No matter what current I change it to, it'll always just stick to 12 amps. So that's not its strong point in my opinion. The discharging is not something I would use this for. Um, let's go ahead and actually charge. So let's go to the charge mode. I wish they had fast charge here. So charge current, whoa, I would have fried this possibly. So just put three amps here. There we go. So now it's on auto. I have a 5S battery up top and I have a 4S down here. Let's see if it'll actually pick that up. Charge to 16.8. That's beautiful. Perfect. And we can see that it's starting to charge here. 48 watts. Theoretically, this thing is rated for 250 watt each side. And we can watch the temperature. Still looks pretty good. The fan hasn't even turned on. But its main selling point, I think, is the dual uh, interface here. So what you can do, for example, if you're in the field charging from your car's battery, 
it, what I usually do is I would put my car battery here, which is an XT60 into alligator clips that connect to my car's battery. And then you'll be able to charge parallel charging boards, for example, a 6S and 4S uh, batteries here. And this should output more plenty, more than plenty enough of amperage to do that. So its strong point is high amp charging portability with two interfaces or with two channels. That is one of its main, uh, I guess, selling points right now. It's it's really nice, but again, just be careful of the QC sometimes isn't as great as you would like it to be. Very simple, it's drop either power supply or charging and slight discharging, but I don't consider discharging as a feature actually, if it's discharging at 0.8, but some people might find that useful, especially if you're discharging one or two S or three S, you know, those baby lipos, then it's okay to that perspective. But, you know, larger batteries, I, I wouldn't consider this as a discharger. And, well, I'll have a coupon to this down below, which I actually requested. And you guys can use it if you guys are interested in it. Let me know your experience of Toolkit RC products. And if you would like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.